Hello, welcome to Heart Magic. This is David. Uh, I am just making this video just kind of raw today, right, right into the webcam. Uh, and I wanted to talk about um, the fact that you who are watching this may have just found out that you have a bicuspid aortic valve or some other variation of the aortic valve disease. I'm in the same boat as you, and I wanted to take a moment to tell you, uh, first of all, don't panic, although you may. I mean, there is a bit of a emotional processing that has to go through with this uh, that is normal. Some people take it very differently than others. And, um, you know, you are going to process this information in the way that you are capable of doing it. For me personally, when I was going through bicuspid valve, uh, or realizing that I had something really wrong, um, I was ignoring it for a long time. And there are people who ignore illnesses when they know that they have them. And uh, it was, I, I wish I not only found out about it, like for two, three years before when I felt something was wrong, but um, I also wish that even now in this moment, once I found out about it, I really didn't take much action to fix the, the valve because I just sort of had this doom and gloom mindset. Now, there are ways that you can take pressure off of your heart valve, and I will be going over those in this channel. Uh, you know, exercise, proper diet, um, variations of uh, different supplements and uh, home remedies and things like that. But at the end of the day, you were born with a faulty heart valve. And so you have to take that very seriously relative to what your situation is. Some people just find out that they simply have it. Some people find out that it's, oh, something's going wrong, you know. Uh, there are, uh, you know, people say that this is genetic. Uh, some people say that they find out that a bunch of people in their family have it. Some people find out that they can't find anybody that has it. Um, you may feel compelled to tell people. Uh, you may feel compelled to check family members if you have that power to do so. Um, or they may go get themselves checked. Um, either way, knowing about this condition is very, very important so that you don't die. Okay? Uh, it's, this is the kind of condition where if you let it go long enough, you know, your entire heart could explode, technically. Um, so you have to really take into account what your situation is and do something about it. Thankfully, um, there are many things that you can do about it, including, of course, the many surgical options that are available to it. Um, I have a variety of things that I'm doing to try to heal my heart. Um, and I, again, I'll go over those on this channel a little bit more, but for now, this video is more so just to let you know, you're not alone. There are many Facebook groups out there. There are many people probably that you know who have this condition or have done something about the fact that they have this condition. So, um, do what you gotta do. It's going to be okay. Um, you could have died a million other ways other than this. There could have been tigers trying to hunt you. There could have been... Um, there are many things out there that can kill you. This is yet another one of them. So, but it's one of those where like you, you know that you have it and you, you know, you start to question a lot of different things and you have to learn about the heart and how the heart works and everything. And so it's really worth taking time to get your stress down by getting things off your plate and also by learning what's going on inside your body and what's going on with your heart and what the long-term path is. So, uh, welcome to the club. Uh, I hope you, uh, you, you really do something that fits what you're going to do and you find people who can be supportive to you emotionally just to help you get through this time. Sometimes the people who are in our spheres are stressing us out. Don't go to those people. Those people may be contributing to poor heart health. Uh, find alternatives, go to local clubs or something, you know, find people. Most people um, need more people in their life that are supportive in general. So uh, I hope you are going to find those people and I hope you're going to make a plan for your heart and you know that this is not the end of the world. It's just a the beginning of a new phase of your own sense of understanding about your body and what you need to be doing to take care of it because all of us have to take care of our bodies no exceptions. So, um, good luck with whatever it is that, uh, you end up doing with it. And I hope you, uh, know that there are things that you can do and, um, you just have to get started. This is David with Heart Magic. Hope you subscribe to the channel. Hope you, uh, enjoy this content and I hope you, uh, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.